Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about how to create a convolutional neural network in Python. So uh, previously I have uh, used the regular neural network to recognize image in R and then uh, I, uh, I achieve 85% uh, accuracy. So today I, I, I use the convolutional neural network. So basically it's adding the convolutional layer in front of the regular, regular uh, neural network. And then uh, by doing so you can achieve uh, like uh, like 95, 97, 99 percent of the accuracy. So a convolutional neural neural network is actually very uh, uh, very very good on pre predict or uh, recognizing image. So today I'm just going to show how to how to build a convolutional neural network in uh, in Python, since I'm using the QRES package. Um, so first of all, let's uh, call the package that we need for this. Um, for this uh, model, and then load the MNIST database, and then also uh, re reshape the um, the image into the into the correct dimension that we need. So uh, I read something about that. Um, there are two types of uh, method to to um, that to store image. So one of them is that they put the channel at the end of, at the end, like like in this video here showing. And the other method is that they put the channel number at the very front. So, uh, so in in this video, I'm just going to use uh, directly using this method. So, as you can see that here for my training set, I have a row number here, and then it is, uh, and then I have a uh, uh, defined the pixel number. So, uh, so each image is a 28 by 28, and I only have one channel. So, uh, one channel out of three. So that's uh, RGB, and then there's only RGB is three channels. There's so in in this uh, examples, I'm only using one channels, and uh, the input shape the input um, uh, shape is uh, 28 by 28 pixel per uh, and then one channel. Then convert uh, the data into numbers divided by 255. That's the, the max uh, of uh, the intensity of the pixel. So that make it standard to standardize so that each pixel is now between the scale uh, between zero and one, no longer between zero and 255. Okay. So call it to category variables to make uh, to to make the the categorical variables into the vector format. So let's say a number five will have the fifth uh, columns have fifth uh, entry of this and that vector mark as one and then the rest will be zero. If a number is uh, seven then only the seven uh, zeros will be one and then the rest of them rest of the nine digit will nine entry or nine zero will nine place will places will still be the zero. So that's just another converted to another way to to uh, to mark to recognize uh, the categorical variable into a vector form. Okay. So if you are building any uh, convolutional neural network, you are very likely to do this uh, this things to standardize your image, to uh, to define your image, to 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 do the preparation part. Okay. And now we had to do the to building the the model. So here we started by calling the sequential function here. That means you initialize the model. And then I'm used adding two convolutional uh, layer here with uh, 32 filters with a uh, three by three uh, pixel. So I have a uh, three by three uh, filters, 32 three by three fi uh, filters, and then come come like a like scanning the image, and then it, and then get get the feature map, and then I use this uh, rectify linear some. Uh, uh, well, basically, just a like a it's a it's a linear function that uh, with uh, all the zeros when when it is negative value and then you have a and then uh, x equal to y in the positive part. So that will make that will only take care. So so that will make sure that uh, the pixel that is positive, the, the the feature map with positive entry will move to the sec to the next layer. And uh, the same for for the same the same for the second uh, convolutional layer. With only uh, 64 uh, features, uh, filters now. So you get 32, um, 32 filters, 64 filters on the second layers, and then max pooling. So basically, just uh, per um, two by two, per two by two, not pixel, but two by two uh, space of your out of your feature map. Extract the max, uh, extract the max volume. Uh, the max uh, value.
from from a two in a two by two um play uh matrix. And then randomly drop out um um one fourth of the of the of the output, flatten. So basically that will make it um uh, uh uh so now we proceed to the fully connected neural network. So that's that's the regular neural network. So just uh just a uh, flatten the image from the matrix format to the vector format. So uh so just like literally like flatten flatten the, the matrix. And then the dense is basically just calling the regular uh, neural network with 128 um, neurons on the first layer and then calling the ReLU again to act as an activation function. Drop out 50%, uh, randomly drop out 50% of the output and then do, um, and then the last, uh, the last, um, the last layer, which is your output layer, you have uh, ten. That's because uh, we we know that uh, the, the the digit or the image we are going to recognize have uh, t only ten ten possible outcome. So that is for sure. Uh, that that is uh, always for sure. Um, that you already know before this, and using the soft max. So basically, that is just like a like a something like a a six sigmoid function, so that you can uh, give it a. Uh, uh, for each um, image or output, you can give a probability, and then um, per 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 category, and then um, and then uh, and then you can, and then um, the um, and then same as uh, what you define over here. So if if there's one entry that has the highest probability, that means uh, that means um, it's very likely that this that image is going to be that number. So. Um, and then here you just define uh so after you set up the model and then here you define how you are going to optimize it so basically for categorical uh, for classification problem you can define uh, as a categorical cross entropy that's uh, just a, a way uh, uh, uh one 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 of the loss function or the cost function and then using the add a delta there there are lots of uh cost function you can you can you can you can you can you can put in here and then there are lots of uh op, uh um method to optimize it so like a stochastic gradient descent or s there are lots of method you can you can uh you can uh you can read the documentation uh for the QRS package and also uh, here we are going to we are interested in the accuracy so basically that will return the probability per digit uh a, a per possible digits and then for each image and then this is just to define how, and then you're going to train the image so uh here the batch size so that means uh processing um 128 pic uh pictures at one time and then uh and then keep going on so and then uh this one just means that uh you are going to do the same uh, so so well, I mean, I, I think you are already familiar with the with the basic setting, so uh, um, I'll, I'll just like briefly go through. So this means like uh, you go through the data, uh, you go through the same data set twelve times, and verbals equal to one true. It just means to print out the text message, and then uh, validation split is so that you are training on zero eighty percent of the training set, and then using 80% of the training set to train the model and then using 20% of the training set to validate it for yourself. So you are still we are still talking about the training set to split 20-80%. Uh, and then here you can uh, evaluate uh, your model using uh, on on the on the testing on the testing um, testing set. Okay. So uh, I already trained the model, so I already have the filters and then the 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 the, the the output of a model. So, um, well, if you train it, it, it might take a long time. Or um, uh, since it's a it's a it's a, it's a, a complicated um, convolutional neural network, it might take a while to train. And so, uh, for for my uh, for 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 this uh, video, I only trained for I only uh, loop through three times of the entire data set, and I, I already get like ninety seven percent of the accuracy. So I stop it. Before it reached like um, the 12, 12 times, so I only stop. Uh, so I stop right away at the third time of the uh, for the looping. So here I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, create a, a, a image uh, right now, and then just to show um, just to show how accurate the model can be, and then I'm going to use the white color. 
So the reason for, for the black background and white uh, font is that uh, the black will be recognized as zero and then the white will become 255 or, or the other way around just to make it more uh, following the, the, the setting for, for the MNIST. So I think the MNIST is ha also having back, black background and white uh, font. So just to following that, otherwise you need to, to do 1 minus 255 to make it reverse. So, uh, well, but, um, yeah, so let me write a digit here. Let's say just I write 5. Resize that into 28 by 28. So that's the input uh, shape, what we defined at the beginning for, for, for this convolutional neural network. You can, you can change um, the pixel size uh, in, in different way you want. And uh, so... Here I'm going to read the image that I just created and run it. Also just uh, resizing into the format I want or I, I define at the very beginning and then divided by 255 to standardize. And now let's take a look. Well, yeah, it correctly recognized as a 5. So now let's also uh, Let me just delete this image and uh, try again. So black background and then uh, white uh, font. So let's say, let's write a six. Well, uh, uh, I hope uh, my Handwriting is not that, uh, not, uh, and now change it to pixel 28 by 28, save it, I just call handwriting, save it, okay, go to Python again, and then I just change that handwriting, so get that image from that folder, and then do the reshape, and then standardize it, okay. Do it again. So, um, do I put the? Oh, let me do it again. Well, uh. If, if, if you want, you can skip this video. This is, uh, skip this part, it's just uh, testing, just testing how accurate my model is. But uh, basically, uh, that is just how to, but uh, I already talked about how to build the model and what the function means. So uh, so now, now you have a better, under, I hope you have a better understanding of the, of the model. So, Close. Okay, I have the image. Oh, the name is wrong. Okay, input the image again. So the number we wrote is a six. So let I hope it can get a. Okay, yeah, it recognizes five. So there's still uh, errors in here. So also let's take a look at the in in R where I also. Uh, Let's let's see what my my the model in R that will recognize this, and take a look at the image. Yep. So this is the six. I just input it. Oh, it also recognizes as a five. So, so it seems like uh, some some of the feature, some of the feature, uh, is not uh, well detected for for the digit 6. So we can try another number if you want. I mean if you if you if you feel boring you can skip this video already. But uh, basically that's how you create a how you create the convolution on your network. And uh, I'll just do another testing just for fun. Uh, feel free to skip the video. So and um, make it to 500 by 500 just to make it easier for <laughs> to write the number. And uh, 
this time I just put a 9, so sometimes it can recognize as a 4. Change it back to 28 by 28. That's the default uh, pixel number for the MNIST. So if you train the model by that, you need to you need to make sure that um, the image you're, for your testing is also the same pixel number uh, or the same size. The number we wrote is a uh, nine. Okay. Oh, it recognizes seven. And let's take a look in the R. Okay, so that's the image correctly import to R, and then let's recognize it. It's seven. Okay, so it seems like uh, maybe maybe the the curvature on the top or or or, or the or the hole for that for for in, for in, in the circle can, is not correctly recognized or for for the for the model defined in just using 32 or 64 uh, filters so uh, some other ways to improve this is to maybe change the number of, uh, of the filters uh, maybe make it larger size uh, for like 5 by 5 and also you can define a different kind of uh, loss function uh, using better or not better, but uh, different ways to uh, method to optimize your um, your cost function. So um, that's how I built this convolutional neural network to recognize the image, even there's two errors. And then, uh, but um, but basically, this is just an application or how to build a convolutional neural network. So um, thank you very much for watching, and let me know if you have any question.